Hello Capricorns, this is a message for you for November 16th until the 22nd. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, tap that subscribe button, hit the bell, for I do upload weekly. If you like a personal reading with me, my information is down below. Remember, these are general readings. They may or may not apply. Take what you can, leave the rest behind. On this side, we are seeing uh, what is it that you're transforming and releasing, being that we did have the new moon in Scorpio, death and transformation of the ego coming into the new version of self, you have transformed it. And on this side, we will do a love spread using my own twin flame journey deck that I have created by using my own painting. This is mine, this deck right now is not for sale, I'm working on that. And on the back, I did use um, also the picture I took from the ocean in Malibu. I will also use Dorian Virtues deck and the Romance Angels and then the Power of Love. Let's get started. Let's see what is going on, what messages want to come out for Capricorn. Came out right away. And okay, so we do have vibe checks. So this is really listening to your body right now. What is it yours? What is not really being in tune with yourself, really checking the vibration of where you are at at this time. If something does not feel right, if it does not feel good, it may not be yours. And you're really to learn and become discerning of what energy is yours and what is not. So you can release the energies that don't feel right for you. Because as soul, you know, we're all in our light body, but sometimes we come into a place where we can't tell when something is ours and something is not ours. And this is really for you to learn from and come into an understanding of what is yours and what is not. And what is it that you're here to learn? You're here to learn and become discerning about your own vibration. So right now it is saying to really learn about energy. You may want to learn about energy and where you're directing yourself at this time and really listen to your spirit. What does your spirit want to learn at this time as well? With Moonology, I will be clarifying those cards to get a little bit more in depth. With Moonology, what is coming on for Capricorn at this time? What is being released? Don't let your past hold you back, okay? So we have the card of, in its South Notes. So South Notes are about our karmic lessons and it is of the past. So really look, is this something new? this energy that you're feeling or is it an old emotion an old belief an old pattern that is coming up learn from that so you can transform the energy that way you're not living in your past but rather you're coming into something new with a new understanding by really checking into yourself right now what have you learned don't allow your past to become your present and your future, really what you wanna do is transform that so you can step into something new here. And you're very close to achieving your goal with the give this moon. So it is, yeah, you're very close into realizing your true self, your true source. So don't hold back and really step into yourself at this time. Here, I'm going to take a few cards. Let's see what is coming out for Capricorn. And I'm just going to lay these cards out. And actually, this card is looking at me. Leap of faith. Look at that. That is the fool. It is the new. Don't let your past hold you back. You're very close into achieving. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. This is the fool. It is taking a leap of faith in a new direction. And I'm gonna take this card, Knight of Raphael, romantic, uh, dramatic, poetic, introspective. It's saying committed romantic relationship, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. I love it, that is beautiful. So there is new romance. And then we have the world. So this is, what. look at this, from zero to the full. So this really is in allowing the old world, the old you, to really transform. And here we have the Knight of Cup energy. So there is a new offering here as well. So you're really stepping into a part of you that really is igniting new romance and new life for you, taking a leap of faith. And this is something that you will see all the way through from the beginning until the end long as you really trust yourself and don't let your past hold you back with the way the past used to be, right? You're bringing the wisdom of that. 
And what we will do is now we will clarify. Let me move these out of the way. So let's take a clarifier on these energies and let's see in regards to what is it that you need to do a vibe check on, okay? This card wants to come out of. Okay, so again, this is like um, Six of Swords in reverse is there's still some things of the past that you haven't really moved away from and it really goes good with that. It's holding you back. So there's a lesson here that has not been learned. Learn your lesson. Learn here if something is not feeling right. Really trust yourself, but you're really trusting your own energy right now and really becoming very discerning of what is true and what is not. So the Six of Swords says there's still some things that you're hanging on to. What is it that you are hanging on to? What is it that you are to learn here? Let's see with, um, nope, the Light Seer's deck. Keeping your emotions above water. This is really using your heart, your intellect, your psychic powers. This is really trusting your feelings, trusting your emotions. Learn from your body. What is your body telling you? What feels right? What doesn't feel right? Really become very intuitive. It's time for you to become intuitive with your body and really keep yourself above your emotions and tap into yourself going into a meditative state so you can really understand, again, what is yours and what is not and what is it that is holding you back with you're very close to achieving your goal. Look at this. You're very close to achieving your goal and this is the emperor. Yes, it's time to take control of your life. You're meant to run an empire. This is somebody who people love working with and working for. Now the emperor in his upright it is a very, it's all four kings. So this is mastery. So this is about con really mastering your life and what is it that you are creating. You're very close to achieving. Don't let your past hold you back here. And we'll put one card on the world, the leap of faith. So there's a completion of the old. Yeah, really coming out of the past but don't get a headache about it. Don't go into self-sabotage and overthinking it, right? Let's put one more card on that. And um, this new love, let's see what is falling on the floor. And I do one more time have King, uh, the King of Swords. So this is really becoming very intuitive, tapping into higher knowledge, using your intellect, and really coming into a place with clarity with um, the crow is always divine, you know, in between realms. I do have the hawk as the messenger and the owl is using your intuition and um, really, really trusting yourself at this time. Again, trusting your own energy. So there's a lot here that is going on for you. You've completed a cycle. You're stepping into a new cycle with... Um, new love for this new world that you are creating with complete clarity. Just don't go into anxiety. Take control of your life. Don't allow the past to hold you back and really listen to your feelings and your intuition. When it comes to your love life, let's use my Twin Flame Journey deck and let's see the two cards that came out. Soul contracts, patterns, and cycles. Yes, so the wheel is also turning in your love life. Spiritual awakening, true happiness is an inside job. And you're really seeing that. You're seeing as you have worked through a lot of challenges, you've completed cycles, and you're realizing, you know what, that happiness that one seeks is inside of self. So as you come into alignment with yourself, then the patterns and the old programming shifts and things change. And there are people that we have soul contracts with, but we are to recognize our own patterns and what holds us back from true happiness. And here, I do believe with naked that you are in a relationship. I feel vulnerable with you that you can really be yourself and vulnerable with. And there's been an awakening in regards to um, your soul patterns and also your contracts and the cycles. And they have all brought you into awakening to your true self within a relationship that you have been in. Let's take the Dorian Virtue, and this is very beautiful. So there has been, there's a new turn in events. It's the wheel. So it is saying you're coming out of any old karmic cycles and really stepping into forgiving and learning 
as you release and heal the past one more time, you experience more love in your present moment. Yeah, so it really is saying to really let go of any past, allow the wheel to turn and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this is really is about being vulnerable and taking the step into a new beginning. Why? Because you have seen that that happiness you seek is not in the outside, but it is now something that is within you. And as you forgive and release any judgment, you really come into alignment in your relationship. The card that wants to come out is purpose. You're, you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. And yeah, and that comes back to the emperor. You are an emperor. People come to you for love. People come to you advice. It is a part of your purpose, but don't let that hold you back from movement forward into what you're here to do on this planet. And within your relationship cycles are changing. I really see that the two of you are really evolving because you've recognized, um, you know, in being vulnerable and true to yourself that you allowed the wheel to turn. Sending you much love, much light. Until next week, namaste.